The Niners have a chance to win their sixth Super Bowl. At the center of all the attention, Colin Kaepernick. And Dr. Kim Mulvihill shows us how he achieved phenomenal athletic success against some pretty strong physical odds. Well, Colin Kaepernick, he lays it out in front. But With a cannon for an arm and the legs of a gazelle, quarterback Colin Kaepernick is simply phenomenal. I've never seen that kid break a sweat. Have you? Competitive. No one comes here to be a backup. Confident. If you're prepared going into a game, you'll be confident when you go out there. Highly focused. This is all business to me. From second year backup to the starter at the Super Bowl, Kaepernick's rise is nothing short of amazing. The three words tattooed across his chest say it all, against all odds. Kaepernick was born in Wisconsin to an unmarried teenager who put him up for adoption. I'm kind of a firm believer that things happen for a reason. Teresa and Rick Kaepernick had lost two sons shortly after birth to congenital heart defects. When they heard that a tiny baby boy was available for adoption, they were... Extremely excited, very happy, anxious to see him. As a child, Colin suffered from chronic upper respiratory problems. At one point, his parents, concerned, had him tested for cystic fibrosis, which he did not have. By age four, the family had moved to California's Central Valley. At Pittman High, Kaepernick rose to the occasion. He excelled in both sports and academics. Football was his first love, but at six foot four, he weighed just 170 pounds. Very tall, very lean, very skinny, and I was hoping he wouldn't break. Only one major college, Nevada, offered Kaepernick a football scholarship. Once again, he rose to the occasion, perfecting the pistol offense. So if you've got a guy like Cap who can run like a gazelle, you've got to be more than concerned with it. You've got to put one and a half people on it. Now, Kaepernick's a star, but not just on the football field. The 25-year-old donates his time at Camp Taylor, a summer camp for children with congenital heart problems. He said, I want to do something that'll help kids with heart defects. So I think Rick and I were both extremely moved. One of the coolest things I saw was him spend hours in a swimming pool with the kids. Not one kid asked about a tattoo. Colin didn't ask about their scars. They were just kids. One was a really big kid. Rising to the occasion. Dr. Kim Mulvihill, CBS 5.